Good morning. It's good to connect with you on this Wednesday, this Wednesday right before Thanksgiving. Uh, some folks call this Thanksgiving Day Eve, and that would be an apt description for today. So today for our Wednesday devotion, uh, we'll be reflecting on Thanksgiving, on the holiday. Now, even though for many of us, this is a very different looking holiday. Uh, not all the traditions and things that we normally do at this time are, are the same, but I believe we can still be thankful and we can still be thankful for the blessings we do have in our lives. So we'll follow our usual format for the, the Wednesday of a devotion where we'll open in prayer. I'll read a scripture, reflect on that, and then we'll close in prayer. So I invite you to be in a, in a moment and a spirit of prayer. And our prayer today comes from the United Methodist Book of Worship on the prayer for Thanksgiving Day. So I invite you to hear this prayer and to pray with me. Most gracious God, you crown the year with your goodness we praise you, praise you that you have ever fulfilled your promise that, while earth remains, seed time and harvest shall not cease. We bless you for the order and constancy of nature, for the beauty of earth and sea and sky, and for the providence that year by year supplies our need. We thank you for your blessing on the work of those who plowed the soil and sowed the seed, and have now gathered in the fruits of the earth, and with our thanksgiving and for these blessings, accept our praise, O God, for the eternal riches of your grace in Christ our Lord, to whom with you, O Father, and the Holy Spirit, be all glory and honor and worship forever and ever. Amen. And then our reading, our scripture reading today, is from the book of Deuteronomy in chapter 8, verses 7 through 18. So I invite you to hear these words from the Old Testament. For the Lord your God is bringing you into a good land, a land with flowing streams, with springs and underground waters welling up in valleys and hills, a land of wheat and barley, of vines and fig trees and pomegranates, a land of olive trees and honey, a land where you may eat bread without scarcity, where you will lack nothing, a land whose stones are iron and from whose hills you may mine copper." You shall eat your fill and bless the Lord your God for the good land that he has given you. Take care that you do not forget the Lord your God by failing to keep his commandments, his ordinances, and his statutes, which I am commanding you today. When you have eaten your fill and have built fine houses and live in them, and when your herds and flocks have multiplied and your silver and gold is multiplied and all that you have is multiplied, then do not exalt yourself forgetting the Lord your God, who brought you out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of slavery, who led you through the great and terrible wilderness, an arid wasteland with poisonous snakes and scorpions. He made water flow for you from flint rock and fed you in the wilderness with manna and that your ancestors did not know, to humble you and to test you, and in the end to do you good. Do not say to yourself, my power and the might of my own hand have gotten me this wealth. But remember the Lord your God, for it is he who gives you power to get wealth, so that he may confirm his covenant that he swore to your ancestors as he is doing today. The word of God for us, the people of God. Thanks be to God. When I think about this passage of scripture, I'm mindful, and we've spent some time in Deuteronomy this year with sermons and with devotions. And it's a book, no, we don't go to a whole lot, but it's a book filled with meaning, uh, especially here where the, the people of Israel are close to entering into the, uh, the promised land. And, uh, it's a, a call in this to, to recount, to recall, to look forward, to experience all the blessing, all the fruits of labor, all the possibilities, all, all the good that has come to the people. It's a, a call, an invitation to uh, recall, uh, recall and recount those things, to, to remember them. But also, most importantly, to remember where those blessings come from. 
It, and the words I feel in that last verse, and I'll, I'll read that again, uh, or actually the last two verses, 17 and 18. Do not say to yourself, my power and the might of my own hand have gotten me this wealth, but remember the Lord your God, for it is he who gives you power to get wealth so that he may confirm his covenant that he swore to your ancestors as he is doing today. I, 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 I've, these words I feel were almost written exactly for me, uh, for Travis Walker. Uh, so I, I, that's where I'm coming from when I'm, I'm sharing this, because there's times I believe that all the things I have, all the things I'm doing are by my own might, my own uh, doing. Uh, in fact, it's not me who does so much. It's God. It's God, you know, and the Holy Spirit, you know, working within me, God at work in the world, blessing me with so much uh, and providing for me. It's way too easy for, for all of us to be focused, thinking that everything that we have, all that we have done, all that uh, we have worked towards have been, has been by purely by our own might, our own doing, when in fact, our God has been at work in our lives, has been at work caring for us, providing for us, guiding us, uh, reminding us of God's presence in our lives. And in this passage of scripture, it's a call to remember the source of all these things. And that is our God. It is our God who cares for us, who provides for us. Even in times of scarcity, when things are, are lean and, and tough and challenging, our God is still there with us, guiding us through those difficult moments in life. This is something that I know I am thankful for. I am thankful for God's presence, for God's care in my, in my life, for guiding me in difficult times. And, and this year, more than any other year, any other years I've lived, I am thankful for God's presence and care in my life. So I would encourage you, as you're recalling your blessings, all the joys, all that has been a part of your life this, uh, this year and on your life, your whole life. Uh, we can recount our whole lives uh, on uh, when we're recounting all those blessings on Thanksgiving. I would encourage you to name all those things, but also to remember uh, the source of God being present in our lives and working to provide those blessings and that we never forget God in our lives. We are, we are a blessed people. We have been blessed uh, in so many different ways, uh, even in, in difficult times. I believe we are still blessed, uh, if nothing else, with a care and the presence of God in our lives who hears us, who sees us, and journeys with us. No matter what we go through or experience, our God is there. And for that, I am thankful. Amen. Well, at this moment, I invite us into a time of prayer. We'll follow our, our pattern of prayer where we take a moment to pause for silent prayer. And then I'll pray and we'll close together with the Lord's Prayer. So let us pray. Almighty and gracious and loving God, we come to you in this time of thanksgiving where we are recalling the blessings that are in our lives, the blessings that have come through this year. Lord, we come knowing that this is a tender moment. We come knowing that this is a tender time as well, that as we recall all the blessings all the, the joys that we have experienced in this year, we know that there are many moments where we'd rather forget, moments that are challenging and difficult, that can make Thanksgiving difficult, and that can make the act of gratitude a challenge for us. But Lord, remind us that you have been with us, that you have been with us in uh, the journey of our lives, that you have not forget, forgotten us or abandoned us, and you have been with us the whole steps, all the steps we have taken, the whole part of our journey. Lord, we are thankful 
for your presence in our lives, that you are the source of, of blessing, that you are the source of life. We're thankful for your son, Jesus Christ, who shows us the way to you now and for all of our days and to the everlasting life as well. Lord, we give thanks that you are our God. We give thanks to your Son, our Savior, and to your Holy Spirit, which guides us and shapes us throughout all of our days. We lift up this day, Lord, all who find themselves struggling with health concerns, who are in need of your healing presence. We lift up all those whose work is difficult right now, facing uncertainty. We lift up all those who are in school and work in the schools who are facing uncertainty and anxiety or challenges there. And we lift up our relationships where there may be challenge or strain. Lord, we lift all those difficult and challenging moments to you. And we pray that you are a part of all these difficult moments, that you are a source of comfort and care where it is needed, that you are a source of guidance and providence where it is needed. And remind us most of all of your grace and the love that we have that comes from you that is present as we go through all these moments in our lives. Lord, we're thankful for the blessings that we experience in our days, the blessings that we encounter. Let us never forget the great blessing and joy it is to be your people, to follow you, to be enriched by your love. Lord, we pray all these things in your Son's holy name, and may we pray as he taught us to pray, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Well, brothers and sisters, uh, be blessed in this time. Be blessed in this time of Thanksgiving, that wherever you are and however you connect with your loved ones on this holiday, know that God is with you, that God is with you in all those moments in which you recall and all those blessings and all those joys. And I'm thankful for you for the blessing that you are to so many, wherever you are uh, uh, in, in this world that we live in. I am thankful for you that we are in this journey together. Go in peace and be blessed. Amen.